you know, somebody may have access to your cash app. This morning I got up, turned on my iPad. I clicked on cash app because I had cash app on my iPad and my iPhone. Several months ago, I got a new number. So I changed the number on my iPhone, but I didn't change the information on the iPad. The iPad was still logged into the old phone number. This morning when I got up, I tapped on the Cash App button and it immediately signed me into an account. And I'm like, wow. So I actually got access on my iPad, which I don't remember setting up access to the new number on my iPad. So I noticed that the money I had in there wasn't there. The contacts I had wasn't there. So I saw this name, a young lady named Caitlin. I'm not going to put her information out there, but her name was Caitlin. And I'm like, Caitlin, I'm not Caitlin. So I went through the app and uh, checked out the information that was put in it, a profile wasn't my information. This was an account that was set up back in September. The phone number for that account was my old phone number. So I had access, immediate access to that young lady's cash app. Now she didn't have any money in there. It was a new uh, cash app account. She didn't even set up banking information. She had a debit card on there, but she didn't have any money or any other information like the email address or what have you. The only thing I saw was the phone number. So what I did was I signed out of it. I called that number to let her know that I actually had access to her cash app, but I'm assuming that the number was new to her because her voicemail wasn't set up. So what I did was I signed in on my own cash app on my iPad. And of course it sent my phone a code. That's where the security feature in, but the glitch that's in cash app. And I hope they change that. I hope they make it so that if you left your cash app signed in on a device, iPhone, Android, or iPad, or whatever. After so many minutes, it should automatically sign you out. On my iPad, I was never signed out of that account. So when I touched that button, I immediately had access to Cash App, but it wasn't mine. See, listen, make sure you take advantage of every security feature that it offers. Send your phone um, a code, use uh, the face ID, use your email, whatever security, block all of your content or your contacts, click all of your contacts. Not only that, Disable where people can request you to send them money. So your information. So the only time you should be receiving money is the people that you gave your information to and vice versa. But the glitch is if you have a new phone number, make sure that you activate all of the security features on Cash App. Now, I have Cash App, I have uh, Venmo, I have, uh, what is that, uh, the one start with a C, uh, but anyway, I have that one too. But make sure, if you get a new phone number, make sure you sign out of that account that you, first of all, you need to take your phone number out of there, delete your phone number, your, your contact information, put your new number in, because if somebody gets your account, all they have to do, better yet, if you get somebody else's number, 
all they have to do, if they still have that app on their iPad or iPhone, all they got to do is just push the button and it signs them into your account automatically. Now, if I was an evil person and if that young lady had money in her account, all I had to do was transfer that money to my account. Now, it could have traced back to me, but it would have made it look like she was the one that sent the payment to me, right? That's how easy it was to get into her account or I could have set up a fake account and just transfer the money to the fake account and then cancel it out, you know? But again, they, it would still lead back to me. But the point of this video is make sure that you secure your cash app. I got into that girl's account just by pushing the icon on my iPad that never signed out. I had never signed out. All I had to do was push the, uh, hit the icon and I'm right into that account. And it came up, I do, are you sure that you want to sign on on this iPad because I have a new iOS? So I click yes and it signed me right into her account. I had access to all her information. Whatever she put in there, I had access to that. So if you change your phone number, make sure you set up all of the security features in your phone. Now, if somebody that had your number is already signed in the Cash App, they just might have access to your funds. So just thought I'd put that out there. Feedback, tell me what you think. Till next time. I'm fearless.